So if you just want to see how the Tyvek bag is constructed, I'll put a timestamp down, you can jump ahead and see that. But I really wanted to quickly talk about the best tape to use, the rope I use, the construction method of different bags, um, the different Tyvek material you can buy, and the costs associated with all those things. And uh, everything I use, I'll put links for down in the description. You can go on Amazon and buy them. Um, you don't need the exact thing. Obviously, there's millions of types of Tyvek and Paracord, but I'll, I'll put down uh, some of the cheapest things that I've found in the materials used. I'll put a link down in the description. So as you can see, I've made a bunch of different Tyvek bags already. Most of these are all for my camping. So this is a small, lightweight bag. This is my big winter bag. Um, I have two air mattresses in different sizes. And then I have one big giant bag that I can keep all sorts of stuff in. Another bag I made recently is for tire chains for my riding mower. I made uh, tire chains and this is great because I can clearly see what it is. It's all together. It's heavy duty. These chains are, you know, they're not light, um, but they're really secure in here. And I just keep them in the garage and when I need them in the winter I pull them down. So the possibilities are endless for what types of bags you can make. Um, in the past, I've made a complete uh, backpack itself with straps and it has a buckled clasp at the top. It, you twist it up and clasp it. This I made this many years ago. It's still holding up great. Um, I even made, I still have an old airfoil kite that I made a bunch of years ago. This older material I used was this. It's a material called Nova Wrap. So I got this at Menards. It's in three foot sections by 100 feet or 50 feet and it's around $20 for a 100 foot section. It wasn't too expensive. It's got kind of a fabric-y feel. Now this, if you buy this material, it works best with packaging tape. So I did a test uh, years ago when I used this. I used duct tape and all sorts of tape and packaging tape works the best with the Nova Wrap. Now uh, most of you aren't going to buy Nova Wrap. You're going to buy this traditional uh, Tyvek material. It's very plasticky. This I also got at Menards for 20, 30 bucks for a 100 foot roll. And with this, um, the packaging tape is not the best. It doesn't stick to it very well. So for this, I use uh, duct tape. I use Gorilla duct tape. This is something I have in the shop all the time, white and black, and I use it for tons of projects. It's eight bucks a roll, but I use it on everything. It's way better than traditional uh, duct tape. If you don't want to go this route, you can always buy special tape just for the Tyvek itself. I think it's $10 for, I don't know, 100 feet. That would work well too, but this is just something I have, so that's what I used. The next thing you're going to need is rope or string, and this is where paracord comes in great. It's perfect, it's smooth, it's slick, it's strong, and it's just the right size for uh, the top to cinch it tight. Um, this I've had for over a decade, about, you know, thousand feet and you, it's perfect for a project like this where you need some good quality strong uh, thin rope so this works great is paracord um, the last thing is you need a piece of wire either like a hanger or some type of wire because you're gonna make a loop slip the wire through and then you're gonna have to pull that wire pull that rope through so you fish the wire through and then pull it out but a hanger will work fine for that and that's all you need so let's start uh, building one of these bags Okay, so if you're uh, just interested in making the bag, um, you're going to be using the standard Tyvek material, which means you're going to be using Gorilla Tape or Duct Tape or Tyvek Tape. Um, you have your paracord, your hanger wire, scissors, and uh, I also have like a little metal ring I didn't mention, a little metal or plastic ring. So when you cinch it, you can just tie it, but this gives you a way to cinch it closed. So the two methods you can construct this are you have a seam on the side, on either side, and it's solid on the bottom. Or you have the seam on one side and on the bottom. So the seam goes all the way around the bag. So those are the two types of methods. And for smaller bags, I found having the seam at the bottom. This way, because the roll comes in 36 inch length, if your bag you want to make is 18 inches or less, like this one is, you can just have the seam in the middle and fold it over. If your bag is bigger than that, you will have to use the whole height. So here's a bag that I cut to size, and like I mentioned earlier, this will not stretch. 
Tyvek is not going to stretch. So if you're trying to fit a, a sleeping bag or something in there, you're not going to be able to stretch it to get it in there. So there is, there is no give in this. So make sure you give yourself a little extra room when you're cutting out the, the bag the size you want. Now, the first thing you do is lay it down, and you want to lay the inside. You're going to tape the inside first. So I want this to be the outside, the nice clean side. So I fold it this way, and I'm going to do the one seam on the, the bottom, or on the side and on the bottom. So you just start taping the inside. So I give myself a length I need, plus about an inch or so on either end. And with this tape, you only get one shot. So you're just going to stick it on there, halfway over the seam, a light push, flip it over, Try to get it aligned as best you can. Flip it over to the other side and seal everything down. So that's the bottom inside. You'll repeat that for the side inside. But now you're going to want to fold this top lip down. So this top lip is going to be folded down. So you don't want to go all the way up to the top. I would leave maybe three inches from the top there. So again, overlap at the bottom. You always want to reinforce the corners by overlapping and then fold this edge down. Since this is overlapped, you're going to have to cut it a little and fold that down. And we're going to reinforce all the corners too. So now you can come back, trim everything up, and then we'll just do a little reinforcements at all the corners, which means doubling it up. And then we'll overlap that. So that is now the inside taped, reinforced at the corners. As you can see on these bags, you cannot see the seam. The seam is on the inside. So if I open this up, there is no seam on that. It's on the inside. So we're going to do that, that rope seam on the inside now. And the way you do that is come and cut down on the edge that's uh, solid, cut down that three inches, three, four inches, because you're going to fold that down. And it'll kind of conform to a shape if you fold it like this. Again, it doesn't, it's not critical that you get it all the way to the edge here because we're going to reinforce it with another uh, piece. So I barely touched it and it sticks on. So here's where you want to decide how much, how much room you have for your rope or string or paracord. I'd say about an inch. So right where this tape ends here, you're going to want to come up an inch from that. This is where it gets tricky, where you might need a second set of hands. And have that stuck down. And you can fold it over the, if you cut it too long, you can fold it over the edge just for extra strength. Again, this side you just match it up. This is almost easier to do on the floor. You can use your knee or your foot to hold it down. You can see here I'm a little bit long. I just fold that over. This one fold it over. And it doesn't matter if this isn't aligned at the bottom. What matters is the top here because 
We're going to hide all that and strengthen it with another piece of tape. So you put another piece of tape there and here. And I don't line it up perfectly. I come up a quarter of an inch or something. So it's not perfectly overlapped. It's offset a little bit. Now that's the inside of the bag done. Now we flip it around to the outside. And you're going to have to push out these corners a little bit. You don't need to, it's okay if it's a little bit rounded, but you really got to get these seams pushed out. Now you're ready to put your tape on the outside. So this is the side that will actually show. But it is the same process as the inside. Again, you can leave it long or short. If it's long, you'll just fold it over. Put it on one side, flip it over, and then flip it down. This is a little less precise because the corners aren't perfectly square. Then you take your tape and double up that side. Then I'm going to do this the, the long side here and then I'll double it up at the top and bottom. The last thing as far as tape is now do the top because the spot it's going to rip is right up here where your rope is. That's where it's going to be kinked and uh, it might rip. So small piece of tape just at the top so right for that grip. So that's the bag. It's all taped up and now we're ready to add the paracord. For this, just get a piece of set, a piece of hanger or a piece of wire. Start at one end of the loop. Push it all the way through. Then you grab it with the little hook there. Push it down. Pull that back through. do the other side. Now you can kind of decide which way you want your your tie to be on. I'm gonna make it uh, I'm gonna have it tie on this side so I'm gonna pull it from the other side. So now the cord's fed through, and the largest the opening is going to be is this. So you kind of give yourself, I don't know, maybe a foot of extra line. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want. Now, again, you could just tie this as it is. You could just cinch it and tie it. What I have are these little plastic rings. And you can feed the rope through that and then tie it off. Nice and tight and then cut the rope flush at the knot. And that's it. You can see in less than five, ten minutes from going from needing a bag to any size you want, you can put anything in there. When you're done, you cinch it up. You have your little ring. You cinch that up with just a simple loop knot or overhand knot or I leave the loop sticking out at the end. And that is the bag and it is waterproof and it is durable. You can write on it. You can write uh, what it is on there with a permanent marker and 
it's just a great bag to have for camping or anything. The material alone, you know, I've, I've bought this 100 foot roll. I haven't even gone through half and I've made 10 bags. Durable, they're easy, you can pack them away, you can compress them. Um, I said they're waterproof and they're just great to have and it's great, great thing to make really durable, simple, clean, easy to use bags. So, hope this helps. Thanks.